nine. That was the combined total of fumbles Saturday night as JMU faced Charlotte. It was a wet Zane Shoker field as the rain came down Saturday night. On to the action we go. 30 seconds into this matchup, Charlotte's quarterback Matt Johnson makes an 8-yard run. And the extra point would be good, and Charlotte would be on top early in this ballgame, 7-0. Four minutes later, Jamie running back Daquan Scott makes some noise with this 9-yard touchdown run. And the extra point by Cameron Stark would be good with 10.30 left in the first. To the second quarter we go, Michael Birdsong goes long and finds Quentin Hunter for a 37-yard pass, extending JMU's lead 20-7. With 11.40 to go in the game, Khalid Abdul makes a 6-yard run into the end zone, and JMU would win this one 34-7. I think actually as a team, I think tonight was our night um, where we finally put it all pretty much together. You know, Offense, we, we ran the ball down the throat, we threw the ball when we needed to, Defense, you know, they only left seven points, and the seven points started on their 30-yard line. So I thought tonight was our night where we finally put it all together, and now we just got to keep the train rolling, get a little bit better, keep on progressing, and we'll be just fine. Honestly, you know, we, you know, St. Francis, we let up a lot of big plays. Uh, today we didn't let up any big plays, and we, we kept, you know, um, saying just stay focused and let's finish, and, you know, hustle to the ball. Like I said, this is probably the best we can practice so far out three weeks, so, you know, we'll just keep this thing going and get better. Yeah, I, I didn't, I, I'll be honest, I thought we played okay. I, I don't know what on a, on a one to ten what to give us, but he turned the ball over. We didn't really have any big plays on offense. I don't know what our longest gain was. It wasn't much. You know, we, you know, you can give Charlotte a lot of credit. Once again, we asked about, you know, Charlotte made us earn everything we got. You know, they didn't give us anything. Uh, I think anytime you're not giving up big plays, you're going to be in a lot of games. Defensively, we got some turnovers. I don't know from the weather, but I, we were okay. I, you know, I, I, we, we've we've got to play a lot better than this. The Dukes head north next weekend to take on the University of Delaware Blue Hens as they begin CAA play. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. on NBC Sports Network at Bridgeforth Stadium. I'm Bradford Ambrose for the Breeze.